Alright guys, welcome back to your second video, and now that we got the project set up exactly how we needed to in Eclipse, now what we need to do is we need to download the libraries from the Slick website and also the Lightweight Java Game Library website. So let's go ahead and download the Slick library first. So go ahead and go to Slick's website, which is this right here. Maybe they changed it, but at the time of this tutorial, that's what it is. And on the right hand side, you can see a link that says download full distribution. Now, as soon as you click that, something is going to start downloading. Go ahead and wait for it to download. Then once it's done downloading, go ahead and navigate to it, which mine is under Bucky and download. Now you're going to get a file that looks like this slick with a little zipper on it. This is a zip file. I'm guessing 99% of you guys know what this is, but if you don't know what to do for the noobs, go ahead and right click it and press send to, or excuse me, right click it and press extract all right here. Now once you extract it, then you're going to get a regular file. So the regular file is going to look, it's going to be named the exact same thing, except it's not going to have a zipper. You can go ahead and see all the files in it. So go ahead and click your extracted slick file and now in here you see a bunch of other stuff what we're looking for is lib l i b so go ahead and double click that now inside here we're gonna wanna steal a couple files the first one is this one l w j g l so go ahead and click that now go ahead and hold control on your keyboard and also click slick so now that we have two files that we need selected, go ahead and right click those and copy. So what we want to do once we copy those is we want to open Eclipse back up and we want to paste them inside this jars file. So you can either right click and hit paste or just hit control V on your keyboard. And now if you expand this jars file, you can see that the two files that we stole from uh, that slick website that we downloaded LWJGL jar and slick.jar, we're good to go. So now with those files, now what we need to do is something a little bit uh, confusing, so make sure you pay attention. Go ahead and click on the name of your project, which is Hand Blaster, and you actually want to right click it and select Properties, which is all the way down at the bottom. Now on the left hand side, you're going to see an option that says Java Build Path. Go ahead and click Java Build Path, and it takes you to a window with four different tabs. By default, it's the Order and Export tab, but we are actually looking for the Libraries tab. So go ahead and click Libraries, and now what we want to do is select Add Jars. So go ahead and select Add Jars, and it's going to say, okay, what jars do you want to add? Well, the jars that we want to add are the ones that we just added. So those are under your uh, hand blaster and you can probably see this if you look on the left hand side but go ahead and expand lib then jars and now select both your jars by selecting one hitting select and selecting both of them and make sure you have both of them selected and once you do you can go ahead and hit OK so now both of those jars are going to be apparent or viewable right in this section right here if you didn't, if you can't see both of them in this window right here, then go ahead and hit add jars and make sure you add the other one. And now once you're done with this, just go ahead and hit OK. So now that we took care of that, well, OK, I might as well do it in this tutorial since we have time. Now what we need to do is we need to download the crap from the other website, which is the Lightweight Java Gaming Library website. So whenever you go to this website, which is lwjgl.org, on the left hand side, you're going to see a link that says download. Go ahead and click that and it's going to say latest stable release is 2.8.3. If there's a newer version, just go ahead and download the newer version. This tutorial is going to work, but go ahead and click this. Now, once you click that, you're going to be taken to a web page with a bunch of different options the source, the docs, the zip, or the applet. What you want is the main file, LWJGL, not the, 
not the docs, not the source, not the applet, the main file. And you can see that this is the one that most people are downloading because this little chart on the right hand side has the popularity and you know evidently this one is has the biggest graph, it's the most popular. So go ahead and click this and it's gonna download that zip file for you. I of course downloaded it already to save time. You don't wanna you know sit here and watch me download files all day. So once you download it go ahead and navigate to it and mine is of course in Bucky downloads and you're gonna get a zip file so go ahead and right click extract all and once Windows is done extracting your file you're gonna get a regular file that's LWJGL 283 or whatever version you have so now what you wanna do is you wanna open up this file open up this one and you wanna open up the folder that says jar so go ahead and select jar and now what we want to do is we want to steal one of these files as well the file that we want to steal is LWJGL so go ahead and right click right click this one hit copy and then go ahead back inside Eclipse now where you want to put this is inside your jar you see that you already have a file LWJGL well go ahead and just uh, highlight the folder jars and paste it and it's gonna say whoa you already have a file called this do you wanna overwrite it just go ahead and say yes to all or yes and it's gonna overwrite that with the proper um, jar file that we want so now the last thing that we need to do is back in your extracted file let me uh, minimize this so it's easier to see. Back in your extracted file, LWJGL, the one that you downloaded and extracted, go ahead and click this again. Now, instead of jar, what we want to do is we want to open native. Now, once you open native, you're going to see all of the folders that say Linux, Mac, Solaris, Solaris, whatever the heck that is, and Windows. Go ahead and select all of those folders, right click, and copy. Now the last thing that we're going to be doing in this tutorial is pasting these back in the section in Eclipse. What section you ask? The native section. So go ahead in your Eclipse project where it says natives, select this and paste it. And now once you expand natives, check it out. It says Linux, Mac, Solaris, and Windows. All of the operating systems that our game is going to be able to run on is now properly set up in Eclipse. So guys, I know this is a lot of setup and the good news is we only have to set this up once and once we do, we're gonna be, you know, jumping into programming, gaming, all the good stuff, but I got bad news. In the next tutorial, I probably have two more minutes of setup to go through and then, guys, I promise I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best games you can ever dream of. So, you know, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you understand how to do everything in that tutorial. If you don't, then just go ahead and leave a comment below and probably a ton of people will help you out. Or if you still are having trouble, then go to my uh, website or my forum and I'll put a link to that below. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Twitter, Google Plus. Don't forget to subscribe. Send me a thousand dollars in the mail if you want and I'll see you guys in the next video.